Well, sir, nice work. When, when was the last time you put a fire out? Hey, last week. Yeah. The grass fire here. But oh, yeah. That, 1979. <laughs> you know, 1979. So it's a little while. Okay, you know, you know, it's like riding a bike. Okay. Perfect. So what did you do with uh, when you got up here with the tanks? You just let it stay back? Did you wait yeah, for it? Yeah, just stayed back, and as soon as I got a booster line, and they got this one running, we covered them, so. Just started soaking the tanks? Yeah. And then I was worried about exposures, you know, <clears throat> all these trees and shit. Yeah, you can see it. It's, it toasted those trees pretty good. Yeah, I think I can't believe is that what it did to that power pole. Well, it, was, it, was, it looks like they, they came out and turned the power off. Yeah, they did. But, I mean, that cable probably would have held it just with the wires were burning. Yeah. You can see where it toasted them right off. Clean it. What do you say, boss? You got your picture, huh? Yeah, I got it. Are you taking videos? Video, video. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Good to you. <laughs> for posterity. Yeah, for, the, for, the grand, for the grandkids. Yeah, why not? All right. All right, well, I guess I'll go, go up the front. Socks, you want me to go with you? No. Is it my breath or my deodorant? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> All I got to do is hook up a hose and, and keep oh, okay. resetting the pump. Is that what you want to I can go up the other three. I can look at this. Yeah. Hey, socks, you got the chalks in. Nicely done. <laughs> yeah. Sure as shit, I would have forgot them. A little, a little light helps. Okay. Oh yeah. Bye, right. That's for spraying, and that's. Engine running, should be injured, stop right. That's spray water. Yep, the other side should be draft water. Here we go. Oh, draft and then. Yeah, leave engine yeah, running, shift neutral. Should be. So, right now you're doing about 100 gallons a minute on that if you've done 500 gallons in five minutes. Approximately, yeah. Where do you put this? Where do you like to keep it? It was just sitting right there. That's <laughs> I, mean, I've got, I've, I think I've I think the only one that uses these trucks besides Robert. And we've got them. I mean, I've got them memorized. I'm but I think I think years. the other guy, the the new guy, the older guy in the blue truck, that was oh, over yeah, there hosing. That lives over at Stonegate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I go. When was the last time you put out a fire? And he goes, uh, uh, 1979. <laughs> I'm like, that's the year I was born. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's like riding a bike. There we go. Alright, bingo. 750 gallons. Okay. Yeah. I, I think we had a pretty impressive turnout. I was pleasantly surprised to see that many people there. There will almost always, on every call, be the 
Nathaniel, myself, Adam. I was surprised to see John Good out there. I was about to see John. Adam. I haven't seen him for a while. Where's, at, where's, where's home for Adam? Last Too close? Chance. Last chance. Last chance. So, so, so Waylon and... Waylon. Waylon's another one. Yeah. Nathaniel, Waylon, Adam, Robert, myself. I mean, we respond. We're usually the ones that will get like, within one call of like, making every single one. I mean, we're, we're all about it. Well, it's like there's going to always be that one. Like, Robert, there's nothing he could do. Yeah. There's nothing he could do. He's... Yep, you got to go to Idaho Falls to get groceries. I'm going to Wisconsin for 10 days. There's something. There's always something. You're not going to make it all. That's crazy. I... Except for last year. <laughs> I made them all last year. Did you? Every single one. I was fireman of the year last year. You made every single call. Every call and every meeting. And that's the way it should be. If you're going to do it, do it. Exactly, you know. The power company was able to get the power to the property taken down before things got... Two burned up. You can see the propane tanks got burned up, but they didn't explode. The thing that was interesting was the the power pole caught on fire and with the alive electrical it melted all of the coating on the wire the other thing you can see is it burned all of the trees they've gone from from green to brown I'm pretty sure they're going to need a new meter base. That one's a little hard to read. With the flames coming off of this trailer, it scorched all the trees, even the ones that are back 20, 30 feet. The hardest part about putting the fire out was the generator and some of the other areas that was hard to get water to and get them cooled off and they were just kept smoking and smoking. It's amazing how the fire torched out here to the side and even this little trailer burning down torched these trees really, really well. You can see this tree is torched and it's at a pretty good distance to the trailer. Definitely need to have a lot more space from your structures to your trees, especially when it comes to fire. It's amazing the heat from that trailer and what it did to the trees. If this was a house fire and the trees were that close, the forest would have 
for sure caught on fire. There was even a little spot in the local newspaper about the RV fire that we had on Sunday night. I love the picture of the camper, fi camper on fire and then in bold letters, local Republicans to barbecue. <laughs> 